Hold on, I hear something. Listen. Yeah, just right over there, Alex. Right over there. Look. You see that? <laughs> right on the other side of that tree, right there. Is that a bear? Holy shit, man, it is too. You see it? Hold on, let's go over here. I don't think you can see it because you, you don't, can't see the front of the tree over there. trying to pee. How do you pee when you need both hands to freaking... <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah! All right, all right, all right! Well, we made it to the island. Alex just tied the rock. Yeah, I don't feel like rope. going for a swim, so... <laughs> Piece of driftwood. The sun's been baking it, so it's leached. We're gonna take it to our campsite and we're gonna burn it. For one, it's hard to find firewood out there, and two, you don't want to deplete one area of firewood entirely. It's not good for the ecosystem, so we're going to take a little bit here and there for our campsite, and this is the first edition. Good find, Alex. Look at the clouds, eh? They're starting to push now. Yes. We have the sun trying to just squeak through. So maybe the bear is going to come visit us, and if it comes visits us, you're going to see. I hope. Yeah, it makes more sense processing the wood. Back at camp, eh? I got it, I got it. Oh, oh. That's how you get hurt. Oh. Trooper Alex, this is what it takes. Sometimes, you gotta be cautious though. We're not really being too cautious. But we're, we're, being, we're in a rush right now because we're all the right bugs. There. Oh yeah, look at this pasta sauce. Courtesy from my mother. I'm really glad that she loves me. Mosquitoes, we kind of like you. We like mosquitoes. They're hard to live with, but you can't <laughs> live without them. <laughs> it's true, eh? it's kind of like a girlfriend. <laughs> the ridge too, because the bugs are just insane. They're retarded. No, if you stop, look, there's bugs all on me right now. Mosquitoes are just incredible right now, so what we're doing is we're getting a nice wind and uh, trying to stay in the wind so that the bugs are a little bit less. Oh. All right, I'm in my bed. Good night, Alex. I am not getting up for the rest of the night. What if I poured you a glass of wine? What if you poured me a glass of wine, he says. Okay, I'll get up. Deal. <laughs> Come here, man. Look at this. We made it. Hartley Bay Marina. French River in front of us. This is where the journey all begins. The canoe is ready to go. Just got to start packing. This is a 16 footer, 42 pound Kevlar. Awesome canoe. This thing is so light. No portages on this trip. So it's gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna try to get between uh, 12 to 15 K today. So we're gonna spend the next probably 40 minutes or so just kind of uh, unpacking and packing at the same time. Just cause we're kind of doing uh, three four trips in one right now so it takes a little bit of time to put everything together because it's not like we pack just for this one trip so here we go the journey begins Alex crazy camper Ontario yeah. Parks right here yeah, yeah. we're ready to do it 
We will see you when we get on the canoe. Just want to start it in. <laughs> Let's do this shit. See you soon. James. Yeah. Thanks, man. Nice meeting you, brother. No problem. This Have is James. Time. He's uh, what do you do here? Uh, I'm the owner here at Harley Bay Marina. Owns the Harley Bay Marina. This guy just gave us a couple pointers. Really awesome. We just pulled out the map and uh, we're just kind of putting our route together. And he was telling us kind of what uh, channels to go down and what not to. So, right, cool. You guys have a good trip. Thanks, brother. Get back. Take care, man. Alex, our journey is about to begin. We're all packed, okay. ready to go. Looks like we're going away for a week. But when you're filming, you got all this camera gear and technology that we're bringing, plus the rain. We have to make sure that we have everything and we're fully equipped with everything that we need. So, let's get this journey going, bro. All right. The journey's about to begin, everybody. We're here at the French River, dropping in the water for the very first time. Me and Alex. We got the crazy camper in the front of the canoe, and myself, Green Blue Earth. That's the day. All right. Mission one, success. We got a lot of weight in here, so nice and easy. Alright, let's do it baby. Yeah. Let's do it. You and me, baby. Let's do it like mammals. Let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. We are in our own Discovery Channel. We make our own movies with everything we see. <laughs> it's a special. It's a special. Dude, it's nice to be out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, it's so cool. Nature at its best right here, French River. My first time here. Alex's first time too. And it's so cool going somewhere for the very first time because you don't know what to expect or what's around the next corner. But right now what I see is awesome rock formations. Beautiful bays, ledges, cliffs, awesome trees, haze over the horizon. We don't know if it could rain any moment, but that's part of the journey. If it rains, I embrace it and I take it because I feel it in every moment when you're out here. Whether it's good or bad, the bad makes the good, and if you always had good, how good is always really good in reality, right? Be a little island up here on the left. The key is is always knowing our surroundings because once we get to the end of this, as long as we know every single point that we cross. Come back too, eh? Yeah, we're gonna come back the same way. What side is it? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Nice big marker right there, man. And these Canadian flags here with Ontario flag. That's a good thing to remember too. So always, when you're out here, you want to make sure that you're always looking back as you're moving along because sure you're understanding these points and you're getting you know you're seeing what you're approaching but you're not actually seeing it doing it the complete reverse and coming back so always want to make sure that you're always finding different markers now it's had a good point look back and you see that white cottage over there so something that it sticks into our minds especially when we talk about it and mention it and then up here you can't really see it but there's two cottages uh, one with a Canadian flag, one with a Canadian and an Ontario flag. So again, it's just good to always remember that and mention it out loud. Because if you're just thinking it in your head, a lot of times you don't really remember it. But when you say it, it's something when you're coming back, it just helps you navigation. And navigation is key when you come to places like this. Because you don't know, especially when you come back. And at the end, tail end of the trip, you're always running out of food and you're exhausted and tired. And you don't really clue into a lot of your navigation or key points, so very important. So we're moving south. Right from Hartley Bay, you make that first left, and uh, there's a couple islands right here. Right to the right, just over here, there's, an, uh, there's uh, a campsite, and there's a pretty big crew right here on an island. Looks like they're swimming and having a good time. How do you do? Do you do good? Hey man, you're on our movie, guy. You're part of the show now, man. 
If you do something crazy, we're gonna get lots of hits. <laughs> hey, where are you guys all from? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. We enjoy our time in French River. Hey, check out our website, greenblueearth.ca. Greenblueearth.ca. Everybody likes to be filmed. So if you guys are watching our movie, cheers to you guys for being out here. I seen your wine. He had a box of wine up there. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Yeah. Nice, eh? The most genuine people I've ever met are people out in places like this. All right, so we just passed this island here. So there should be a campsite in this little bay right here. And then uh, there's another campsite from what the map's telling me straight ahead through the other bay. So let's pull in here, check it out, and maybe we can uh, document what it looks like. You see a sign anywhere? Not yet. Nice. It's not bad. It's sandy. See what I mean? Water level change, eh? I think it's all, yeah. Has it ever changed? What I, one thing I like is all the sites are actually numbered. This is a 612. I like that. They don't do that at a lot of parks. I like this site. Nice view. Oh, well, these numbers. Yeah, I get real ticked off in Blarney. Nothing was numbered. I had to walk by. Spent so much time looking at the map to see exactly where it was because nothing was numbered. Should take a sharpie next time I go to Clarny and mark it all myself. But yeah, look at the water level change. The water's been all the way up here. I know wind can shift the water, so if you get a strong south breeze, the water's gonna slosh around on the Great Lakes. And this is the northern side of Georgian Bay, so we have an inlet straight from Georgian Bay. Holy mosquitoes! Yeah, they're getting me right here. Look at that. Look at that. Thousands of them. Yeah, maybe this isn't a good site then, too buggy. <laughs> but you can't have everything perfect. I'm just happy to be out here. Oh man, holy mosquitoes. You know, dude, I figured out why those people were all at the, the island over there. Because there were no bugs out there? I bet you that's why they're on the island. Because there's, there's another site right across from them, but they weren't in the, the inlet. They were actually on the island, just chilling. There's no campsite. All these bugs. I was trying to pee. How do you pee when you need both hands to freaking... <laughs> hey. All right. Let's go. All right, so what time is it, Alex? 2.16. 2.16. We're going to find a little island up here and take a little break. Somewhere where the bugs might not be so bad. So if we find an island in the middle of this... Uh, this river here, this seems like the widest part of the river at this point anyways, so it's nice and windy. So I think the island's going to be good and bug free, so we're going to have a break, have an apple, and just to reflect on everything we're looking at, take it all in. Slippery when wet. <laughs> okay, a motor steady. Nice. Perfect, dude. Pretty easy. Well, I tip it. Well, we made it to the island. Alex just tied the rock. Yeah, I don't feel like going for a swim, so <laughs> I think it's pretty secure. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice little break over here and enjoy a nice man's creation. Yeah. No bugs here? No bugs. No bugs! Look at this guy, eh? Especially over there. Pretty wild. Definitely some rain clouds. She's beautiful though. Ah, uh, so nice. 
Check this out. Piece of driftwood. The sun's been baking it, so it's bleached. We're gonna take it to our campsite and we're gonna burn it. Number one, it's hard to find firewood out there. And two, you don't want to deplete one area of firewood entirely because it's not good for the ecosystem. So we're gonna take a little bit here and there for our campsite and just the first edition. Good find, Alex. Thank you. We'll put it in the canoe right now so we don't forget it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Really good idea. Yeah. We made it to our first site. Got everything unpacked. We're gonna uh, relax for a little bit and then we're gonna sort out the bear hang. Make sure all the food is in one pack. We are at site 618. We keep going down south. That's the mouth of Georgian Bay. And over here, it looks like there's some cottages. I don't know what's actually down there. Haven't really uh, looked through the map yet. It's a great site. This spot right here, there's a nice fire pit overlooking the water, which we're gonna have a fire at this spot right here. Because we have a nice wind, it's gonna take away from the mosquitoes. There's a lot out here. But if you walk in there, there's another fire pit and a bigger part of the site, which we'll show you guys in a little bit. So I'm gonna finish our track on our paddle just to see exactly how far down, how long it took us to get here. And uh, I use sport tracker. So what I got here is uh, an hour and 30 minutes moving time. 7.78 kilometers. <laughs> That's it? So that we didn't be over 10. <laughs> <laughs> so we really didn't move that much. That will. We're gonna go to Georgian Bay tomorrow, so that's gonna add on a lot. Yep. But hey, I'm satisfied. We're out here, middle of nowhere. Yep. It's about 10 after 4. Time to gather some firewood so we can start prepping some dinner and get ready for the evening. Get it done now because we're getting hungry. And when you come out here, you start getting sluggish after you eat. So I want to make sure we get done the, the tough stuff spot. The tough stuff first. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> yeah, so we want to make sure we get done the tough stuff first. Gather a bunch of firewood enough to hold over the night. Make some dinner. And we're gonna set up the tents. We found a really cool spot you're gonna see after. Uh, right on the other side of this uh, rock shelf here. Really awesome, just on the other side. It's, uh, wait till you see this. You'll see it just in a little while there when we start setting it up, but it's gonna be amazing. Found a nice two little flat spots just on the other si side of the uh, cliffs. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at the clouds, eh? They're starting to push now. Good. We have the sun trying to just squeak through. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a beautiful day. We haven't seen the sun yet. And uh, what we did is we're going to uh, cook a pack of bacon. And the wind is just perfect because it's pushing into the woods. So maybe the bear is going to come visit us. And if it comes visits us, you're going to see. I hope it does. <laughs> we're asking for trouble, but I hope it comes out. Yeah, dangerous. Don't ever do this, folks. We're not going to feed it or bait it. We're just going to... Cook some bacon at the campsite. Yes. But we're going to have a good window for sundown, so the remnants will be long gone after sunset. So he thinks. He doesn't know. <laughs> No, we don't screw around with uh, wildlife. Wildlife is uh, precious. very precious. And a bear, you don't want to get a bear tainted because then it'll just be killed eventually. Especially if we let it get into our foods. And we don't ever want to do that. Or Once they learn human food, they're always going to come back to these spots and bug other people. But most importantly, it'll end up being killed because if something happens and there's an encounter while well, they Trekking through the woods, going to find some firewood. Find the thunderbox too. Yeah. There's a thunderbox. Some idiot left it open. Not supposed to leave those things open. Well, maybe there's another. Yeah, but then animals get inside of it and. 
And you're not supposed to leave these things open. Fucking snakes and shit get in there. Oh yeah, that's not this. <laughs> well, I just I looked in to make sure there's no animals in it. Okay, so basically we're scouting around for firewood, so anytime we see anything, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab it just like this and leave it on the path. So that way when we come back, we can just make sure we can keep filling our hands up. Yeah, I spotted down birch tree too. I think it's dry enough, I hope. We're gonna go investigate that. It'll be a bit of a walk. Yeah. Oh, I see a lot of some down trees there. It might be good. Might be a lot of weight to bring stuff back though. But we could always bring the canoe around and fill the canoe up. Oh yeah, there's some pieces down here. It's just gonna be uh, some work getting it all back. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, that one's still on the ground, still rooted. So this is my Sven saw. This thing's awesome. It cuts really nice, it's compact, it's light. It can go in your canoe, your kayak, and your backpack. Perfect. Because out here, you're gonna find big logs like this, and you're gonna have no way of cutting it up. And right now, watch what we're gonna do with this baby and how quickly we can do this. Thanks, dude. Mosquitoes are out. Just like that. I don't remember the exact price on this thing. I'll post it in the description of my movie, but watch how it works. Oh, sorry, man. What tree is this? Man, it's over maple. We're not on sturdy ground here, so it makes it a little bit harder. We're gonna have to get a better platform after. But look how look how nice she goes right through. Yeah, it's best to take your time and not be too aggressive so you don't break the saw back here. There, look at this all right here. A lot of wood down here. It's pretty heavy. It's got it's got a lot of weight to it. It's, it's waterlogged. Yeah, let's get that. Is it, oh, is it soaked? How do you even walk up here? I, I bet you the water was the wa up here, eh? <laughs> hey, wow. Yeah, that's right. That's incredible. <clears throat> All right, so we decided that we're gonna carry these logs back to our campsite because it's really buggy in here. We're gonna spend an hour here just cutting and logging back and forth. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try to hand bomb it and uh, see if we can do it anyways. Let's try. Yeah, it makes more sense processing the wood back at camp, eh? Oh. Whoa! Pull, pull, okay. pull. Ah, oh, there we go. That's good. Go more on the tip, man, because you're taking most of the weight there, bro. I'm gonna put my bug net on for the next trip and take my shirt off. Yeah, yeah this is retarded. 
right. Holy mosquitoes! Oh, it's better up here. Maybe walk, walk the bridge line. Yeah. Toss it at the end. Here, maybe we can toss it down here. Yep, let's use gravity. Caber toss. So, hold on, get one more step down. On three. So, one, two, three. Ow. Perfect. Sweet. Grab the other log, and yeah, it's way better process down there, eh? I don't know if I want to go up there. Hold on a second. I got it, I got it. Oh, no. That's how you get hurt. Holy. You okay, dude? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Holy shit. Good thing for that tree right there. And you being agile, eh? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, you alright, dude? Yep. Holy fuck, that could have been really bad. Take a break? Yep. Oh, man. Oh. Trooper Alex. This is what it takes. Sometimes, you gotta be cautious though. We're not really being too cautious, but we're we're being we're in a rush right now because they're all the right bugs. There. Huh? They're going right there. Yeah. That's my fault. I I wasn't uh, navigating too good there. Okay, not hurt. Let's do it. Right. Yeah. Just right over there. Or any way that you feel comfortable with. Oh. Or we both can. One. Well, it's going to get caught up here. It's going to fit down here. It's going to get caught up there. Huh. Careful, don't get yourself hurt there. Nice. Well, let's go grab the pieces that we cut and uh, yeah, cool. the saw, machete, and uh, let's start processing this wood back at camp. Not even that bad. Let me just take this on my own. Yeah. This one's a little bit heavier. Awkward. Yeah, it's heavy about. So this right here, prime example, when you come out here in the interiors, always be courteous to who else is here. Because somebody could easily burnt this and had an awesome fire. Instead, what they did, they left it behind for people like us. So this is why we do this. And every time I come into the interiors, I always try to process more wood than what I have or what I need so I can share it and give it to somebody else. Because what this did to us is, we were able to grab some big stuff, which was actually a lot of work. We had to go down and carry it all. And I don't have to search for kidling or nothing like that. And it's all right here. So whoever did this, cheers to you. And thanks so much. And this is why we do it for that exact reason right there. So we always help the next person on a journey. I know that sometimes we can't always do that. You know, because it's hard to find wood at a lot of places that we go to. But if we can, it's always great to do it. And guaranteed you that the end of this journey, we're gonna leave a lot of firewood behind, especially with all this wood that we have here and what we're gonna be able to do tomorrow with it. So, cheers to you. We really appreciate it. And with Alex, it's awesome, because uh, right here, look, he's already processing wood. He's cutting this stuff up while I'm getting the kidling and uh, starting to get all the fire starter.
Now it's time to warm up some dinner. Let's give this a rinse out. Yeah, fill her up with water and we'll be good to go. We started processing some wood and uh, we're just, we took a little bit of break and uh, we're gonna get some food going and we'll get back at her and as soon as we're done eating. What do you think food for is uh, yeah, we just got to boil some noodles, that's about it. You want a coffee or anything after? I'm not going to do any coffee until tomorrow morning. Okay. Look at this perfect spot here. Hold on, just wait. I'm going to wait. Is that water okay there? It looks kind of murky in there. Maybe at the end. No, I took it from out in the main part. Is it, does it look clear? Nothing in it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Look at this spot. This is a perfect spot right here. Don't even really need this. I'm gonna use it just in case though. Better to conserve the fuel. Well, the water's been boiling for about a minute now. We know it's parasite free. I'm gonna get something to stir with, bro. Oh yeah, look at this pasta sauce. Courtesy from my mother. I'm really glad that she loves me. She makes awesome pasta sauce for my interior trips. And it makes my night so much easier where I don't have to do any extra cooking and it's already ready. Thank you, mother. I appreciate it. Alex will too, as soon as he tastes your hospital, your uh, spaghetti sauce, it's amazing. I can already tell it's going to be amazing because <laughs> the camera can't smell. <laughs> and I can smell that right now and it smells yeah. great. So. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, mother. Yeah. Fill yours up. Thank you, Shirley. This is the best pass I've ever had. So what do you think would happen, man, if somehow there was an invention that we would eliminate the mosquito out of our entire environment and ecosystem? Do you think that that would have any impact on survival of other species? Of course. Yeah? It would kill. Well, they destroy the ecosystem. Think so? Yeah, for sure. How? Well, what eats mosquitoes? That's your first question. True. Dragonflies. Dragonflies. Bats. Bats. Birds. Bats, number one. Mm -hmm. You know how much they eat in the middle of the night? They're That's all true. Over the place. Yeah. Bats, birds. And what eats bats and birds? <clears throat> Higher predators up the food chain. That's an entire, an entire chain, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Mosquitoes, we kind of like you. We like mosquitoes. They're hard to live with, but you can't <laughs> live without them. <laughs> it's true, eh? it's kind of like a girlfriend. <laughs> That's a whole other animal. <laughs> That's a whole nother animal. Humans are animals. It's true. And it's with a heartbeat is an animal. It's true. Part of the animal kingdom. Well, we found a little, some paddlers. It looks like they don't know where they're going. Hello, hello! Hey! You guys looking for a spot to stay? Are you looking for a place to camp? Directions! To where? You're going to Jordan Bay? It's 6 o'clock, you have time? They're not English. I don't think they understand. They can't make it. There's no way they're going to make it. You guys can camp here. All right. Check this cool chair out. Right here. This is awesome. If you're if you go in the back country, you go canoeing, you go portaging, paddling, hiking, whatever you do. 
you definitely have a thermo rest. Most people have a thermo rest. So if you have one, then you're gonna wanna buy this a little attachment right here, because this thing is awesome. It's not much money, it's like 35, 40 bucks. I purchased it on Amazon. It is actually from thermo rest. And what it is, it gives you a really cool chair. And if you come out here often, you find that there's nowhere to sit. And after maybe a day, two days kind of thing, you feel like you wanna have a backrest. First day, usually you're okay, but after that, you feel like you want a backrest and something comfy to sit on. Well, this right here, look at this. Doesn't look like much, but actually, this thing is awesome. Check it out. Doesn't take long to set up. They're really light, has no weight at all, really, and it packs very small. So what you want to do is you want to blow up your thermo rest. Bam, just like that. I know it doesn't look like much, but you know what? Try having a seat on this baby, just like that. And you're gonna notice. <sighs> that you have a perfect back support and you can chill. And you have a perfect, almost like a couch. And it's so comfortable, you have air right on the bottom, air behind you. And I can literally take a nap just like this. But you know what else is cool? Is when you're going to bed at night, it's really easy. Because all you're doing, you're just unbuckling this clamp right here, this clamp here, pull this out, just like that. And you only feel those straps because your sleeping bag is going to be on top of it. We just had pasta for dinner, and pasta gets everywhere on everything. So this is a camping hat. Grab your balsam pine needles. Let the bowl, and boom, it's like a sponge. And if you got some hard stuff to grind out from the bottom of the pot, Use the butt end, which this is already clean. Look at that. The pasta gets everywhere, like I said. This is beautiful. Look. It's clean. It's all clean. That easy. All right, it's time. Set up the tents. We found this awesome spot on this rock ridge. Beautiful. Look at the view that we have. In the morning, this is what we're going to wake up to. Awesome. We found a nice patch right here. We also found another one just over here for Alex's tent. Absolutely amazing. So we're going to set up our tent, and we found a spot to get a fire going right up here on the ridge too because the bugs are just insane. They're retarded. No, If you stop, look, there's bugs all on me right now. Mosquitoes are just incredible right now. So what we're doing is we're getting a nice wind, and... Uh, Trying to stay in the wind so that the bugs are a little bit less. So, yeah, see what happens. Right now, especially, they're horrible. But in a few hours, especially once we get that fire going, we're gonna blow smoke into the forest. Hopefully, smoke them out. But yeah, I'm gonna go set up my tent too. It took me a little while. It was tough because of all the rocks, so I had to find different spots to uh, that I can ground myself. So it was actually really hard. My timer on this is nine minutes, 40 seconds. It was really long, but if I had easy ground, 
it would have been easy to find some spots to dig in. Uh, hey, this is good. Look at this view. If I can wake up in the morning and put uh, five six stars out tonight, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open it up and uh, see if I need the stars. But anyways, cool. All right, I'll give you a little tour inside my little baby castle. This is not for everybody, but it is home tonight. Look at how small this is. But you know what, man? This is all you need. Really, this is all you need. It's perfect. Fits the whole body perfectly. Look at that. End to end. And look at all this room. So if I had more, um, less rocky, then what I'd do is I would tie this in. It's actually tighter here. So it gives you more of a more room here. But you know what? This is perfect. It's good. Works for me. Yes. It's time to get a fire going now. Oh! oh. oh. Alright, I'm in my bed. Good night, Alex. I am not getting up for the rest of the night. What if I poured you a glass of wine? What if you poured me a glass of wine, he says. Okay, I'll get up. Deal. <laughs> Deal. Come here, man. Look at this. You hear that everyone has a deal. Hey, look at the life over here. I'm trying to figure out my uh, tagging system with the <laughs> It's not going to work very well. It's really hot right now, but it's going to cool off tonight. I get super hot in here. But this is perfect, man. Did I couldn't get these as tight as I wanted them. Is this a four season tent? Yeah, it's three season. It looks four. It's low profile. It's yeah. small and you're compact, so your body's going to heat it up. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's pretty good stuff. Usually it's tighter, but I can't get any tighter because the rocks, no, man. Yeah, I'm facing the same problem right now, but I'd rather be using the forest. No, dude, the forest is just insanity right now. Literally, it's insanity. Oh. No. Uh, well, well, look at those clouds over there. I mean, it looks like it's clearing up over there. Alex. Yeah. Just about wrapping up his tent too here. I MacGyver this. Oh man, you got a nice spot here, eh? Yeah. Need a heavy rock. I'm gonna this down. The tag won't work. And just hang a rock down, that's a good idea. Look at this view, eh? Amazing. You couldn't dream of a better spot to sleep. Really. I'll find you a rock, okay? Yeah. Whoa. Look at this, everybody. I got my buddy Alex. A 30 pound rock. I could barely even lift it myself. All this work that I'm doing just to make my friend happy. Thank you, my oh, friend. There you go. It is heavy. Woo! Let's see what MacGyver does now. What does he do? My bag's gonna go right in the fly. I'll always do that when I'm back, finish with this tent, especially. That's a good idea, bro. Just pull it tight. There. You have to tie it, though. Nope. That rock, it's gonna slide off. No, it's not moving. You sure? It's not moving. All right, it's man. Flat surface. That's why I want a flat rock. See, look at that.
morning, everybody. Survived the night. It was a tough sleep, actually. I didn't feel too great. It wasn't really level. Mosquitoes kept swarming, too. So it was a constant battle in hearing all the swarms. And I couldn't tie in my stakes very good, so my tent kind of caved in on me. And the mesh was on my body at some points. So they were actually eating me through, my, through the mesh. Anyways, coffee time and oatmeal time. And Alex is still in the tent. Yeah. Time to wake up, bro. Right. Get on the day. I, uh, we're actually up earlier, as you've seen from the movie. Decided to go back to bed, just the bugs were too bad, so. And we're getting up now, it's about 8.45 a.m. I'm just grabbing our coffee mugs. And I have my toothbrush right here too. So I'm going down the water, brush my teeth, clean the mugs, and I already have the water. Probably close to a boil. Get in there. Look at this view, eh? Perfect spot for a coffee. It's nice. So, Alex, you're gonna have a coffee when you get out of a tent. It'll be ready for you, bro. Tina. You know all too well. Alex, get up! <laughs> All right. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, everyone. Water's boiling. I'm gonna let her boil for about one minute. We're gonna be drinking some French River Lake water mixed with some spaghetti noodle pasta sauce. Since I can't clean it all from the pot. Oh yeah. So thanks, mother, for the extra tasty yeah, coffee yeah, this good. morning. <laughs> How are the bugs, Alex? They're brutal. It's not gonna lie down. Insane, eh? Yeah. Oh. Look at that. The sun's out. Just poured us some oatmeal. Boiling some more water now. Have a nice quick breakfast. Alex over here, he's setting up the drone so we can give everybody an aerial tour. Everything that we see right now. And also we're gonna take a look at the drone so we can see exactly where we're going to paddle to. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think anybody has seen this perspective in here yet. We may just be the first ones. Amazing. <laughs> 